Alright, so in this video, we're going to be finding the distance between two parallel planes. Okay, so now instead of having a point in a plane, we have two parallel planes. Okay, and I'm going to show you that we can still actually use this distance formula to figure this out. Okay, and we can also use the other distance formula if you don't have this one memorized, anything like that. You can still use the other one. Um, but here's what we can do for two parallel planes, okay? We can still make this a point and a plane problem. All we have to do, and let's take this, this plane right here, okay? We have 2x minus 3y plus z equals 4, okay? And we want to find a point on the x-axis, okay? If we find a point on the x-axis, it's just, it's just a point on the plane, okay? And it's really easy to find if we find a point on the x-axis because now we can make y and z zero and have just that 2x equals 4 divided by 2 on both sides and you get that x equals 2. So what you end up with is the point 2 comma 0 comma 0. Okay? And, you know, so this is a point that's on this plane. Okay? So what this is going to be is going to be your x1, y1, z1 in your equation. And your a, b, c, and d are going to come from this other plane. Okay? Because now you have a point on this plane, and you're going to find the shortest distance from this plane to that point that you just found on the other plane. Okay, and that literally gives you the distance between the two parallel planes. We're able to do that because the planes are parallel, so the distance is always going to be the same between these two planes. Okay, but now we're finding the distance from this plane to this specific point on the other plane. Okay, and that's how we're able to solve this. So we need to find the normal vector. Okay, or we could just figure out what a, b, c, and d are for this vector. You can do whatever you want to do for this, honestly. Uh, if you add 3 to both sides here, you get that you have a 4x minus 6y plus 2z equals 3. Sorry, nope, not at all. Plus 3 equals 0. Okay, so you get that a equals 4, b equals negative 6, c equals 2, and d is going to equal 3. Okay, that's just that's just a linear equation for a plane. We figure out what a, b, c, and d are. Okay, if you're confused on that, then definitely go back to my video on um, just the different types of equations for planes. Okay, you see right there, it's you know ax plus actually it's this right here ax plus by plus cz plus d. Okay, so there you have a, b, c, and d. So now that we have a, b, c, and d, and we have x1, y1, and z1, we could just plug in for this distance equation. We have the distance is equal to our a is 4, and we're going to multiply that by x1, which is 2. And what's really nice is that y1 and z1 are both 0. So the b1, uh, so this term goes away, and this term goes away. So we just have plus d, d is 3, and then we're going to put this over. Well, we have now a square root of a squared plus b squared plus c squared, which is going to be a 4 squared plus a negative 6 squared plus a 2 squared. And that's going to be equal to, we have a 8 plus 3 right here, that's 11. This 11 will be over, well, you have a 4 here plus 36 is going to be 40 plus 16 is going to be 56, so you have the square root of 56 and right there you go that is the distance between these two parallel planes okay so you can still use this formula just now that you have to find a point on one of these planes and then use that and find the distance between the shortest distance between that and another uh, and the other plane okay so that's really it anyways that's gonna do it for this video so if this video helped you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe by clicking my icon in the top left. You can also view the playlist for vectors and the geometry of space in the next video in the series. Lastly, if these videos are really helping you and you would like to consider supporting me, I have my Patreon linked in the description down below, along with some other pretty cool links that you should definitely check out. See you soon.